Good afternoon. It is indeed a pleasure to return to New Haven after so many years, starting when I was a Yale medical student, into a practice that uh, left me with wonderful stories as well as experience. I was privileged to listen to many of the tales that were factual, and that at the same time, I focus on one thing, and that's the Schubert provided all of us as medical students to decompress and watch wonderful original shows. And this reminds me of the time I had just opened up practice, needed a lot of money, and I was substituting for the Schubert physician. At 4 p.m. that day, I got a desperate call from the producer at the Schubert. You must come immediately or tonight's show of My Fair Lady will not go on. The cast has already dispersed and I don't know what I'm going to do, but please come down and see if you can help. Well, I immediately trotted down my black bag. He was pacing back and forth and led me to the room which was filled with stars. At the same time, there was Rex Harrison pacing back and forth in a great agitated state. And the whole point of my visit, which was a house call in a sense, was to give him his needed, quote, B12 injection. He immediately stopped his pacing, handed me a vial that I think was B12, and demanded the injection. I was very happy to do that, and as I injected the needle, I said, I hear you have a great show that's opening tonight. He said, would you like to go? And of course, I said I was thrilled, and I immediately called my wife, who uh, started to dress for an appropriate evening. We went to the box office because Rex Harrison had told me that there were tickets that were ideal. I walked to the box office, asked for my name, and she said, oh yes, Dr. Gordon, we have two tickets. They'll be thirty-seven fifty each. That was my turnoff with Rex Harrison. Another vivid impression that I had was South Pacific was playing, and that wonderful song was being uh, sung by uh, Robert Goulet. Now, routinely, because we have mezzanine seats usually, I carry binoculars with me. And I was focusing with my binoculars, and I turned to my wife and said, you know, Robert Goulet has bunions. That was a typical Martin Gordon approach to the Schubert Theater. Another memorable event was this time, the monologue by Maureen Dewhurst was on. She stopped in the middle and said, is there a doctor in the house? No one responded. After three times, I was nudged to perhaps go down to see whether I could help. So I trotted down to the lobby, and there on the bench was a poor patient surrounded by five physicians. One was a radiologist who was visiting his son at Yale. Another was an obstetrician. Still another was a pediatrician. And I think that there was a psychiatrist. Uh, the psychiatrist was uh, non plus Well, knowing the emergency room personnel because I was making rounds that morning with them, I immediately went to the phone and called. And, uh, and an emergency room physician was Mike. And I said, Mike, I'm at the Schubert. I'm sending in a patient immediately. The Schubert, what's playing? <laughs> and that was uh, the emphasis that everyone holds upon an endearment as far as uh, the Schubert is concerned.